Hi, Tracy here. I'm going to give a really brief tutorial on how to use Twitter using uh, the Twitter.com website. Um, so let's get started. Um, this is a Twitter.com website. This is my actual personal website um, as I see it. So um, the basics on uh, Twitter use is um, these are my followers and by default it's going to go to the home and so this is going to show everybody that I'm following all the tweets from everybody who is in um, my following list um, and if I wanted to reply to somebody you, when you mouse over you're going to notice this little curved arrow and it's going to say reply to in this case Leslie Williams and if I wanted to reply to Leslie Williams I'd click that little arrow and it's going to click it up there and I could type in my message and as I start um, typing it's going to uh, start reducing my characters and remember we only have 140 characters that we can type in Twitter so um, it's going to keep going down in my character count until it gets to zero once it hits zero you're done and you have to hit update and send your tweet um, you also notice this little star and what that means is you can favorite it and when you favorite is basically like a bookmark it's like saving it like you favorite something or bookmark something in your browser that's the same concept in Twitter you're favoriting it bookmarking it saving a particular tweet so it doesn't get lost in the you know way back in your tweet stream somewhere so you can easily find a particular tweet say it's got a link in it you want to save or it's got information in it you want to be able to quickly access you just click that and it'll save it over here in your uh, favorites and see there it is and then I these are all the other ones that I favorited for whatever reason um, the next um, tab that we can go to is the replies and these are where people have replied directly to me um, it's not just a general tweet stream of everybody I'm following chatting out in you know the general tweet stream or to whomever these are direct replies to me these are conversations um, you definitely want to pay attention to your replies tab because this is where you build relationships with people um, you know you want to you want to hang out here and make sure you reply and pay attention when somebody's um, you know sent you a direct reply and that you reply back to that works the same way as under the home tab you just click this and um, reply back and, and, and favorite that same as you would under the home tab the direct messages is um, a little bit different um, when you click that that is like a private message and um, to, to direct message somebody um, it is a private message and I'd click that that it don't want you to read any of my private messages um, but anyway that is um, just between you and the person who sent it to you nobody else can see that so it's like a private it's just a private message you could also send it from here if you wanted to by putting D in front of the name and then um, say um, say I wanted to send one to at cute angel 79 um, if I did that, then I would, and then typed my message, that would go only to her as a direct message. Okay, um, but the, the thing with direct messages in Twitter, I can only send someone a direct message if they are following me. Um, you know, I can send them a message a reply with the app in front of it if they're not following me and they'll get it but I can't send them a direct message with the D in front of it if they are um, if they are not um, yeah sorry D in front of it with no app um, if, if they're not following me I can't send them a direct message so um, just kind of a quirky little thing um, in, in Twitter so you can reply to somebody if they're not following you you cannot direct somebody in Twitter if they're not following you so that's just a little tidbit of information so um, now up here in um, settings a couple important things let me show you my profile real quick you'll notice in my profile I've got quite a bit of information and there's a reason for that um, I've got my name that is my real name I have an online business people can find me they need to know where I'm at um, and because of that I have my location and all of that in case people want to find me by geographical location to hook up you don't need to put your exact city state whatever if you don't want to put as much in there if you want to 
Um, I have my personal website in there because my other websites are linked from my personal website. That's just the way I chose to do it because I don't so much promote my business um, heavily on Twitter. Um, I, you know, I, I usually just, you know, it's more for social networking for me. Very little um, business type promotion on for me on Twitter. Um, but I, in my bio, you'll notice that I have a lot of like strings of keyword phrases basically, and these all apply to me. Um, they're searchable on Twitter. Um, if somebody went to search.twitter.com and they entered in any one of these keyword phrases, I, I would come up somewhere in that list um, because those are relevant to me and those are things that um, I tweet about to varying degrees. Um, so when you fill out your bio on Twitter, you want to make sure that it is something that is relevant to you that is searchable. I mean, it's great to put in some um, you know, wonderful phrase, um, but that doesn't necessarily make it really easy for people to search and find you and follow you if you put in just, you know, some favorite quote or some, you know, witty, um, you know, comment that that's not going to tell anybody anything about you. So if you can put in your website and your bio, maybe your location, um, you know, that's very, very helpful in helping people find you. Um, and notice that I also have my picture. That's really neat. Um, that also makes it personal. You know, makes people, you know, you're a real person. And people are more apt to follow you if you have your real picture up there. So in order to change and get all that information on here, you want to click the Settings tab. And this is where you enter all this in. Um, you know, here's your web address your website, excuse me, and here's your one-line bio, and you only get 160 characters, so, you know, you need to keep it pretty condensed, and just all type it out on one line, and then when you're done with that, you hit save, and then you change your password devices if you use a mobile phone or, you know, whatever you want to receive notices on. This is where, um, under the notices tab, if you want to allow people to nudge you if you haven't tweeted in such and such time, uh, if you want to receive email when new people are following you or you get direct messages or anything like that. Um, this is where you would upload your picture and this is for your design and you'll notice that my background is different. It's not, I didn't use any of the, you know, standard themes. Um, I'm a web designer so, you know, I kind of like to do things myself. You don't have to. Um, but it's, it's kind of nice. It's real estate for you. So you can, you know, add your, your web address on here and you can kind of uh, promote yourself a little bit on your Twitter page. Um, if you want to change the background image like I did, I created this as all just one background image and then I just uploaded it. Um, I did not tile it. It's just one big image. But if you had, you know, just wanted a solid image that repeated, then that's what tiling is, where it was like a little square and then you just wanted that little square to repeat you would click tile. Uh, to change the colors like this sidebar over here and the text colors and the link colors and all that you would change all that here and then you would save that. That's where you would do all of that. So that's the basic um, on Twittering from the Twitter homepage. Um, pretty basic, pretty simple, not a lot of frills but it'll get everything done. Um, one thing I don't remember if I mentioned that, you know, um, this is not a dynamic page. If you want to get the new messages while you're on the page, you have to click um, either the Twitter icon again or you can qu click to refresh your browser again either way to download the newest messages. It's not going to automatically refresh. So to keep getting the newest messages, you have to either click the icon again or click to refresh your browser again. That's pretty much it. Um, thanks for listening, and if you have any questions, um, contact me um, through my website. Thanks, and have a great day.